Hello everyone. So today we'll look at probability. So let's look at uh, the concept involved and then we'll do some example problems that are typical for GRE. Okay. Alright, so probability is mathematically just a chance of something happening. So a simple equation that we'll use here is basically probability equals distraction where the denominator is total number of events possible okay so you're observing a particular phenomenon the total number of uh, of different types of things that you can observe is basically the denominator here. and on the numerator goes the event that you are interested in event of interest again it's number of event or events of interest okay so simple as that a simple fraction okay uh, so best way to kind of get a hold of this is to a simple example so so let's do a coin toss okay right so i want to know what's the probability of getting ahead Head after a coin toss. Okay, so simple. I toss a coin. I want to find what's the probability of getting ahead. So here, let's go step by step. Let's see what are the total number of events possible. So I know when I toss a coin, there are only two things happening, right? Either I get it ahead or I get a tail, right? So the total number of events possible are two. My event or event of interest is on the head, right? So I want to find the probability of getting ahead. So that's one event, okay? So probability then is simple, the ratio of the number of events you want, which is one here, over the total number of events, it's two. And that's about, uh, that's exactly 0.5, okay? So as you'll see, probability is always between zero and one uh, it can equal zero and one also uh, probability of zero means that the event will never happen probability of one means that the event will for sure happen okay also i can express this as a fraction 0.5 which is 50 percent right there's 50 percent chance that i'll get ahead on a coin toss okay all right let's introduce a couple of scenarios that you will need to go for gre So first is probability of two events happening. Okay. How do you take care of that? So two events happening. So a common way to recognize this in, in the word form that you'll see on the GRE is the word and. So the question will ask, what's the probability of this and that happening? Okay. Or that and this happening. It will always be the end. So let's again do an example problem. Let's say a coin is tossed two times. Okay. What's the probability of getting both heads? Okay, so I've tossed, I've tossed the coin two times. I want to find what's the probability of getting head on the first toss as well as a head on the second toss, right? So here is two events, and you want to find the probability of both of these happening. Okay? This is the end event. Get a head and get another head, right? So here the total probability is the probability of the first event, so getting the first head, times the probability of the second event, which is getting the second head. Uh, so, so this is the rule. Whenever you have and probability when you're looking at two events happening consecutively or at the same time you always do a product of the individual probabilities of the events right here in this case probability one getting the head on the first toss that's one half times probability of two again getting a head on the second toss which is the same as the first right the, the probability of getting head stays the same no matter how many tosses you do right 
So that gives me one fourth, which is 0.25 or 25%. Okay? And the thing to realize here is that the probability uh, goes down, right? And this is kind of intuitive. You know, you want a head first and then another head. The probability of that, of that happening would be less than the probability of just getting one head into one pass, right? Cool. All right. The next probability scenario that you need to be aware of is the OR probability. So here the question will say what's the chance of this or that or that happening? Okay. So in this case, what you do is you add the individual prob individual probabilities. Okay? Probabilities. So just to reiterate, the end one that we just did, you do the product of the individual probabilities. When you have or you add the individual probabilities. Okay. So again, let's do a problem here, and that will help us uh, get a better handle of this. So we have here a jar of marbles, okay? And the contents here are four red, six green, and eight blue marble for a total of Six and four, ten and one, eighteen. Six and four, ten and eight, eighteen. Okay. So I want to find what's the probability of getting a red or I guess it's of getting, I would say, what's the probability of? Picking a red or a green mark. Okay. So according to this rule, the or rule. Okay, so again here is a or I want to get either a red or a green. For a red or a green, so the slash represents either one probability. By basically the probability of the red uh, picking plus the probability of picking a green marble this should be green G. okay so the let's calculate the individual probability so probability of red is what so on the denominator you put in all the possible events so all the marbles that i have and that total of 18 okay on the top goes uh the events of interest so here the event of interest is red marbles so in total i have four red marbles For green, similarly, the number stays the same. The numerator is the number of green marbles. Okay, so if I have the individual properties here. I can just add these up to get the combined property of picking either a red or a green marble. Okay? So summing up fractions, same denominator. I just add the numerator. Four and six gives me ten. So this comes out to be five over nine. Cool. So again, simple rules. And you multiply. So you get the product. Or you add the probabilities. Okay. So that's pretty much it that you need to know for the problems on GRI. The only other thing is to look out for the kinks. And let's do some problems and hopefully that will give you. Good idea of the things involved.